<laughs> it's over. This is a fucking hole, man. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. Raymond, that's you, isn't it? Still hurting, cadet? No, I can still fight. That's the spirit. Uh, I guess you've thought of everything. But even the FBC may not be able to cover its tracks on this one. Let the heavens scorch the earth with justice. Raccoon City all over again. And Teregrigis, no more. Looks like we both were too late. Both of you, look. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Abandon hope? He's quoting Dante. I'll find you, Jill. I promise. Okay, hi guys, and welcome to episode 4 of Resident Evil Revelations. A Nightmare Revisited. We are Veltro, vengeful messages from the depths of the Inferno. Damn terrorists. We killed these bastards already. It looks like you missed a few. And they're on this ship. Now they want to use the virus to stage another attack. They seek the truth about Terra Grigia and vengeance. Jill, look at this. The whole ship's out of power. The ship's running on emergency power. But the comm system needs the main power. We need to bring the engine room back online. But that won't be easy. Okay, so I guess we have our objective for this bit. Safety procedures. Because this vessel was involved in a prior accident, safety standards that go beyond those outlined in the Maritime Safety Act have been introduced. All crew must read this. Queen Zenobi has two unique power generators. If the main power generator should fail, the backup will come on in the bilge. will compensate for its loss. This ship contains vertical and horizontal bulkheads that automatically divert water in case of flooding. In the event of an emergency, the bulkheads can be operated by the control system in the bilge. This system will continue to operate even after sustaining minimal damage. Okay, so we're gonna have to like hold off enemies and keep it all right while we thing it or something maybe. Okay, so yeah, I haven't played this for a while, so I might be kind of rusty. The reason why I am playing it, and uh, it's way earlier than I usually play it, Okay, the reason that I'm playing it so early, it's like half five in the morning here, is because um, I got a thing from Xbox yesterday and they're like, oh, uh, these are the list of games that are going off Game Pass. And obviously the one that I'm playing was on it because, uh, you know, that's my luck. So it goes off on the 15th of June. Right now it's the 11th of June, the morning of. Oh, okay, that was... Raymond. Hello. Take it. You might need it. Like you said, turning on the power won't be easy. Is this going to be like a new gadget? The Iron Anchor Key. That key will get you through the casino on the first floor. Then you'll find a lift to take you to the build. But tell me something first. You didn't see any other FPC members here, did you? I can't reach my partner, Rachel. Damn it. I haven't heard from her since she went to the build. Anyways... Uh, yeah, so today, as I'm recording this, just to break the illusion, because this might come out in, like, I don't know, fucking August, September. Should we look for this Rachel woman? We can, but after we bring back the ship's power. Yeah, so, as of right now, it's the 11th of June, and this goes off on the 15th, so obviously I have to do eight chapters, no, nine chapters, actually, in that time. Uh, we were on the first floor, weren't we? Where's our map thing? Okay, so we're going to be going down there. So by first floor, they mean ground floor? Okay. But yeah, football's coming back. So that's, that's, that's something. Excited for that. I think because of that, I had a dream. Um, not as inspiring as uh, Martin Luther, but still interesting nonetheless. Uh, mine was to do with... Uh, I don't know. If, well, okay. If you don't know anything about football, then this probably won't mean anything to you. Wait, where are we? Are we blue? 
I'm gonna assume we're blue, so we have to go down. Anyways, um, yeah, so I was hanging out with Harry Maguire for some reason, and we were just like, you know, chilling, chilling, doing some stuff, and uh, like walking around like a stadium, I think. And um, we passed Robert Earnshaw in, a, in an Arsenal top, and he winked at me. And I went to Harry Maguire, I said, that was Robert Earnshaw, and he winked at me, and he went, yep. So I guess that's maybe that's like a common thing, maybe Robert Earnshaw just likes to wink at people. I don't know, never met him. And then we got outside and it was kind of like Miami or something, it was like a weird beach. And uh, this guy asked for directions and obviously I didn't know where I was, so I was like, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that was my dream, so yeah, weird, weird stuff. I didn't eat any cheese or anything, but uh, yeah, that's when I do stuff, in it. But anyway, last time we played this, we had a fucking awful fight with this big, uh, kind of... He had, like, a kind of chainsaw arm. From what I can remember. There's fish! Are they going to get, like, mutated? And there's a coin in there. Are they like piranhas? Are they like giant piranhas you can't go in? Ah, that will come in helpful. So we have our five full herbs, as they like to say in the old America. So we're just having a quick look around. At least this one like tells us where we went to go. I mean, the other one did, but I don't know what the fuck I was doing. Okay, nothing really much to see. So I guess we can go left or right here. Let's try this door. Probably be locked. It won't open. That's basically the same as locked, so. Let's go up here. What is that? A cutout? That's very nice. I would have that in my house. Please use coins. Right. Oh, so do we have to... Yeah, I was going to say we have to... Like, put some sort of weight on that or something? Okay, do that then. Who does that? I can use this light switch to turn on the light. Well, fucking turn it on. Okay, very fancy. It's not as cool as the um. They are things like casinos. As the casino from Dead Rising Two. Press the button. Yes. Holy shit. Shit, it's been infected. Watch out. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That was quick. <laughs> I saw these in the okay, video. so one thing that we're going to have to practice is our fucking aiming. Oh, shit. Look at go. Oh, there's one behind me. So I literally just have to do everything because Parker can't fucking aim. I believe his name is Parker. It's either Parker or Harper. Oh, one of them ate the coin. Okay. Finally quieted down a little. Why is that overflow? Oh yeah, I guess it's going in and getting shot back out. Uh, interesting stuff. So yeah, this is uh, chapter four. I believe it was the uh, Nightmare Returns. Return to the Nightmare. Well, I don't know. So, yeah, so apparently these Veltro people were in one of the other games. Oh, I have one of them. Is that cursor? What? Oh, you want another coin? Why is it? Why is that not going up? I have that one, don't I? Where's my inventory or something? Uh, okay, not that. Key items, coin. I have the fucking coin. Look, but it's acting like I don't even have it. Okay, so left, up. Oh, we had a bronze one. And that's not enough. Okay, so we need more coins, so... 
Oh, there's a thing over here. Handgun ammo case. Does that mean we can get more ammo? Okay, that still won't open. I thought turning on the power might have for some reason. Oh, okay, are we meant to win stuff? So, I can get more coins with this. I wish I had one of these at home. Okay, well, that was easy. Now, try that, I guess. What kind of fucking game is this? Like, Resident Evil game is this where you have to just go and play slots? Looks like this thing's got a weight requirement. Of what? And shouldn't it tell you? Do you just, do, does that just mean we need more coins? What does it mean we need a specific amount? Okay, I'm just going to go to all the lit up ones and try it because I, I have no fucking idea. Oh, that's that's enough of that. Okay. Uh, that's enough of that. So... What's this? Casino staff report. Okay, this might be a thing. I finally found out how to bypass the security on the VIP room. That room is reserved for all things. You have to hit the precise weight, 107. Okay. So there you go, that was nice of them. Otherwise, we could, we could have been there for ages, dude. 107. Oh, ho, ho. oh what a legend. So yeah, today I literally just went through and like watched loads of like old films that I liked because fuck it. Uh, so it was like Johnny English, uh, Spider Man 2. Okay, I say films I like. Uh, I watched Spider Man 3 just to try to see if it's as bad as people say it is. And it is pretty bad, but I still got something out of it. Although by the end of it, I was like, all right, can we kind of hurry up and finish this? But yeah, good day. Scribbled memo. I'm at my wit's end. I'm sorry, but I must go on ahead. They are sleeping, but they will wake up eventually. Now's my chance. Just thinking about them makes my hair stand on end. Their ugly bodies are not of this world. Their stench like rotting organs and their screams like echoes from hell itself. That's very poetic. I'm so frightened that I can't stop shaking even now as I write this. Be careful. The bloated blisters on the walls of their eggs. They can regenerate. Please don't think that I've abandoned you. I did it for my family. I will pray for your safety. Okay, does that mean we're gonna get like regenerating fucking enemies here with the, their egg motherfucking things? Oh yeah, and we go in um Oh, can I use my hand gun ammo pouch? Whatever the fuck. Whatever. Okay, now what are we meant to do? Okay, so we made it into the special room. Oh, there's a ladder. Why didn't I not see that? Okay, so something to do with these eggs. And remember, it's like split into stages, which I actually forgot until like just now. So, okay, that was creepy. Parker, or uh, what do they call him? Russell Crowe and Chris Harris. Just, okay, we can't go this way. Let's go this way. So yeah, I'm gonna try and do these as, should, should I shoot these then? Can we scan them first? Okay, they're just bulletproof. I guess unless you blow it up, but then you don't want to waste a thing on that. Okay, I was waiting for something to jump up and... He does back there. Oh, look! Actually, no, I guess not. Uh, I thought she had, like, that kind of luminance radiating from her that uh, Ada had in... Here's the lift. I hope it still works. Resident Evil 2 remake. Okay, so is this the build? The key is missing. Oh, Christ. The key's gone. I'll look around for it. Okay. I'll check around here. See check around here, up. see if it turns up. That's fucking Radio bullshit. Radio me if you find it. I shall look on this bit that we were both standing on that we couldn't find it on. Alright, here we go. We're on our own. We're fucked, guys. 
This one's gonna come out of that vent. Okay, I'm guessing we still have our screwdriver because I remember that. So yeah, in terms of how long ago it was, I played the first three parts. I'm trying to think, I'm not really sure. The only thing that I really remember vividly is fucking hating that uh, regenerator guy. And these are, oh, I was gonna say these are pretty simple as he doesn't do it, but there you go. All right, we're gonna get a lot of options here or what? Okay, no, it's just straight up and down. Didn't Raymond say his partner was in the bilge? That means Rachel or whoever has the key. We just have to find her. This is where we came in. I think in. I might have an idea where she is. That corpse you ran into earlier? Yeah. I just pray it wasn't her. I don't even remember, uh, I'll be honest. They, uh, oh no, they're the horrible ones, aren't they? Oh shit, reload. Right, move back, move back. Do you have a shotgun? We don't. Okay, that's just wasting our fucking bullets. Oh. If you guys can remember corpse from the start, then you're doing better than me, because I have no idea what she's going on about. I'm thinking maybe Am I gonna use my grenade? Oh, well, oh, he's dying, so fuck it. Okay, maybe this is the last time we'll like come back to this area. Where are we go? I'm out here. Okay, I'm guessing just. Oh, was it? There was a dead person here, wasn't there? No. Okay, I guess not. Here? No? That's a man. We have no bullets. Where's my shotgun? I want my shotgun back. Uh, right, so let's have a look. If we are this fucking map. Uh, so if we are there... Forward? I don't know. Let's look at it now. Okay, that looks promising. Uh, where are we now? Use this fucking map. So we're gonna forward in and like just follow it left all the way around. Oh, hello. Oh fuck, well, uh, okay, I, I don't, so, you know in these games where they're like, okay, you don't have to kill like every enemy in like Resident Evil, but, if you don't, they're just gonna grab you, so I want to go to the right, okay. Oh shit, we're going for a headshot, we missed. I'm trying to think how many hits it took. I want to say it was like, hmm. It's like three or something, isn't it? It's quite low, because we have the, the health things. Can we open this now? We can. 
That's quite cool. We can go back and get some shit that we didn't get earlier. Is that it? Whatever, let's go. I heard a voice saying found you. And I didn't want to turn around. But I couldn't see anything in front of me either, but fuck it. That's kind of sucky. Oh, we're on, so we've got a hand grenade and uh, we can't even uh, cycle through our weapons. I thought we had some... B.O.W. decoy shit, but I guess not. Okay, it was around here. Okay, and we can open the lockers. Yeah, I remember that now. No clues as to who left this note. I was forced on this mission. I had no desire to come here for a job that could get me killed. At any rate, stage one is complete. I got the key from to it for the freight lift. Now I can access the bilge. This ship was used as a base of operations for the terrorist attack on Terra Grigia one year ago. I found the UAV in the ship's foredeck that was used to disperse the virus. Finding the UAV was good. Getting attacked out of nowhere by an ugly monster was bad. I knew this mission would suck from the moment I took it. My head feels like it's going to split open. I lost an eye already. Fuck. It's hard to see. I feel like crap. I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it is hard to see with this one eye. Arms are starting to feel weird too. My right arm split into two. Blood all over my body. Can see my bones. Need Dr. Bad. The writing is obscured by blood. Hello. And she's still called the cleavage. Oh, shit. So we have to Jill, what's wrong? kill that monster to get I the key. I found the target, but she's a zombie. Isn't that always the case? Preach it, brother. Oh, fuck you, inventory fall. The fuck is going on? She got away. She's in the ducks. She's still there. Go after her. She could have the key. The ducks are all connected. Okay, I'm on it. I'll make my way to your position soon. Uh. Check in here. No. Okay, I guess we just go back to him until she pops out. Fuck, I thought that... There's her own fucking shadow. Okay, good, I can hear her laughing, so that's good. And we left a monster in here. They, oh, that's a different one. And it's behind us. I'm gonna use my thing, good. Just casually walk around them.
What? She just disappeared. Oh no, got her. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh uh, fuck. Okay, I think I just waste all my bullets because I don't think we're really meant to kill her yet. I think you can just like kill her at any point. I mean, I think there's going to be like a specific place where we're meant to kill her. I can't believe she turned so quickly. This virus is more powerful than I had thought. <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. Use our thing because we are getting fucked right now. Uh, yes, this way. I want you. Oh no, she missed it, and I was like, right there, come on! You know that fucking gun! Oh, hello. And... What the fuck am I doing? There we go, is that so hard? What the fuck? I'm probably wasting all this like ammo, which is meant to be really useful for later on or something. here as well fucking hit him okay and we're out of handgun bullets again Rachel. Okay, now can we thing it or do we already do it? Okay, I think we already did it, so. Okay, this is on casual, so just fucking imagine me doing this on anything other than casual. We'd be waiting a very long time, is basically what I'm saying. Good, I'll take you. I kind of need some bullets, though. Because letting Parker try and deal with everything doesn't really work. As much as I like him, because he had a really cool... <laughs> it's out of order. This is a fucking hole, man. I could still hear her, like, making noises. Does this mean Veltro fooled the FBC, too? Don't know. Maybe they're just using whoever they can. Right now, we need to worry more about getting this ship operational. It's a shame that this outfit is, like, pretty hot, but we have to look at it from the back. Although, to be fair, that's not a bad thing, because, you know, there's uh, advantages or uh, plus points with the back as well, but... You know what I mean? 
Right, let's go. Inserted lift key, good. Now, pull this. I'm guessing it was called return to thingy because we went back to the bit that we started at uh, in the first bit, you know? I hear something. We are so bad on, like, bullets. <laughs> oh shit, do you know what? I should have gone back and, um... Straight into the depths of hell. Got some from the earlier bits. Do you feel like that first area we were in? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Episode four, Nightmare Revisited, finished. Okay, there you go. I guess that was it for that one. 29 minutes. No deaths, although we got pretty close, didn't we? So yeah, just one section, I guess, for that one. So on the one, on the one chapter where I'm like, you know, they split it into multiple sections, then we just have one section. So uh, yeah, there you go. That is episode four. We will save it. Yes, indeedy. So yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, join me next time where we'll do episode five, which will probably have uh, two or three parts to it. Although now that I've said that, it will probably just have the one again. But yeah, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And catch me next time for episode five of Resident Evil Revelations. Thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot, guys.